Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And we just wanted to take a moment to shoot this quick live video to ask the question, what have you had to give up for your job? Now, you know, a lot of times we can get so set with what we're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like you're doing the same thing in day, day in and day out, in you, know, you know? You, and, and it gets to the point where you don't even think about what you're doing. You could actually find your job driving blindfolded. That's how many times you've gone that same route. And so, so rut. And so maybe it's time for a reality check. What if you really had to give up for your job? You know, the, the benefits are obvious. You know, you get, you get a salary, you know, kind of guaranteed salary up to a certain point. Yeah. As long as you keep your job, as long as there are no layoffs or anything like that. Mergers you know, or acquisitions. Mergers or acquisitions, which can always happen, you know. When you least expect. As long as your job's not replaced by a robot or artificial intelligence, you know, Ooh. you're pretty safe and, until that happens. So the question is, what have you had to give up for your job? You know, it's kind of... What sacrifices have you had to make? Mm, mm. Willingly or unwillingly? So I guess if you think about it, you know, one thing could be just uh, not being in control of your time because it's always a bad thing as an adult not to be in control. I mean, don't you like to be in control? Yeah. You know, um, I, I can recall having when I worked in corporate America, having to ask permission to do certain things, you know? Like having to ask permission to take vacation or, you know, for How some- permission to go to the bathroom? That's huge. That's, say that's, that. that's kind of scary. Yeah, it is you kind of, you're an adult, you've got to ask permission. Uh, isn't because that- Because they want you on the phone. Isn't that kind of giving somebody a lot of control of a your life? A lot of power. How, how, about, how about having to ask permission to, to get time off, you know, like, like say there's something you really need to do, you know, it's like, like maybe you want to go to a funeral, asking time off for that, asking time off because you want to have a baby, asking time off because you just need time off. Mm -hmm. You've been working there for years, but don't you feel kind of bad? You have to feel guilty to ask for time off and you've given them a lot of time. We're not talking about a new employee. We're talking about someone who's seasoned and tenured. Mm. Think about it. How about time off because just because you're, you know, you might want to just relax. Maybe you've been under a lot of stress, right. you know, and you just need a stress day, you know? But, you're human. You know, but see, that's when your particular goals and objectives come up against the objectives of corporate and your boss, your supervisor, maybe even the board of directors they they don't they don't want to hear about your problems <laughs> you they don't know? care they don't they don't they don't really care about your problems all they care about is the bottom line revenue they, they may act like they care about your problems but bottom line you, you are know, replaceable you, they, that's pr probably pretty much the way they look at it and so it's it's a sad it's a sad fact but you know it's it's a reality check you know so what about Spending time with your family, you know? Loved ones, people you care about. Spending time with your kids. Quality or, time. Or with your spouse, you know? What about all of that time that you missed, you know? We were, we were out uh, walking out in the uh, park like we do every day, you know? Power walking, power running. Yeah, we're, we're out there every day, we're right? We're moving, baby. He we, made it sound like we were taking a leisurely no, walk. No, no, no. We, 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 we actually run, right? But so we, we're out there every day, you know? We, we head out about 1030 in the morning. Or earlier. Or, or, or on weekdays. And, you know, it's like there's not many people out there. But what happens on the weekends is packed. You know, Strollers, it's, dogs, it's, people out there looking at the sun. It's, especially if it's a nice day. I mean, it is literally packed. It's packed. I mean, today, I mean, it was hard. We had to constantly run around people. It was, yeah, it was, like a, I'm thinking, of course. I mean, so for, for those people, you know, they saw it was a great day. It was they, a big deal to them. Woo, I'm outside. I'm seeing fresh air. Whoa. They didn't, they didn't have to explain to their boss what they were doing. So they did what they really wanted to do, which was to come out and be with nature. 
mm-hmm. and to see the beautiful scenery, to breathe the fresh air. Instead of fighting the malls, <laughs> they wanted to come out, and I get it. They yeah. wanted to be out with the animals and, and, and watch the sun reflecting off off the uh, river. It was just so incredible. Or go kayaking. So kayakers. incredibly beautiful, but we get that every day. Every day. Every day. I every mean, day. why should we allow somebody else to dictate to us the level of health that we have and how we want to le- live our lives. How we want to live our lives. Because mm-hmm. when you work for somebody else, your life is determined and dictated to you. Mm-hmm. You really have no options. You can tease yourself and sci- psychologically say you do. But as long as you work for another man or woman, you will work for another man's dream. How about, how about you know, because I like to work out at the gym, you know, mm-hmm. And uh, love to swim. I, I love I love to, to swim. Compete. I love to swim, and yeah. you know. But you know, if you go to the gym when everybody else does, you know, after they get off work, especially you know, on a Monday, you know, you go around six, seven thirty. You can't even get to the machines. You know, the machine. Everybody's everybody's like waiting three people to use one machine. How crazy is that? You know, but. What I can do, I can go at 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He can pick his time. I, I have the whole gym to myself. You know, if I go, if I go at 7 o'clock and I want to do my lap swimming, you got to share a lane with two or three people, right? But when I go, I usually have the whole pool to myself. It's like my own pool, right? So it's just unbelievable how much freedom you can have when you make the sacrifice to have your own business. There's it's nothing entrepreneur. like entrepreneurship. Nothing like and it. And I will say this, entrepreneurs are a unique group of people. They are very special. I have a huge respect for anybody who's an entrepreneur, whether they do network marketing or traditional brick and mortar business, because we've done both. But I have a huge respect because number one, you've got guts. you got what other people don't have. Number two, you've got courage. And number three, I know somewhere deep down you've got a dream. Right. It's growing, but you have something there that most people don't even, can't even imagine. Now, this is definitely not a diss to people that are stuck in a job because we've had to do it too. And, you know, we were chewing gum and walking at the same time. We were working our way out of a job. The way we look at jobs is they're a necessary evil, but you have to do it. I'm not saying walk off your job. It's a, if it's a necessary evil, it's still an evil. It's evil. That, that's if you have the mindset to be an entrepreneur. Pays the bills, you eat, have a roof over your head, but in the same mode, you're looking forward. Entrepreneurism is not for everybody. No, it's not. And there's some people no. that absolutely love their jobs. So this, this video is probably not for everybody. And you that's know, cool. if you're the type of person that really loves what you're doing and can't wait to get to work, you probably turned off the video anyway. So. The, the ones that we're talking to, you Our probably you, you probably don't like your job. <laughs> You're probably ready. A lot of people don't like their jobs. You're probably ready to go out there and start your own business. And so, and you should. What we Concur. encourage you to do is, if you really have a strong desire to be an entrepreneur, check out having your home based business. Because uh, the thing is, if you have a brick and mortar business. Uh, brick and mortar business is very, very risky. And 95% of those businesses fail because of the high capital requirements, the high financial investment It's like required. buying your own job. Yeah. It is. It's like buying your own job. But if you look at having a home-based business, the cost is so much less. The investment cost is so much less. And now, with the technology available on the internet, oh my gosh. I know. And like I watch Shark Tank. I've said it before. Eric has probably said it on our millions of videos we have out there. That Shark Tank is my favorite show. Mm-hmm. I'm an entrepreneur. Go figure. Mm-hmm. And even the sharks, when they ask these people questions about their business or their invention, almost inevitably, the first two or three questions they ask them are, are you online? Yeah. They don't want to hear retail because they know it's risky. Look at all the malls closing. Black Friday, is it going to be around next year? Everything is online. If you're not online, you're out of business. You get, you get this on Shark Time. If you're not online, you get this. <laughs> That's the like, look. what? That's the way the sharks do. They're like, what? You want us to invest in your business and you, have, and you don't have an online strategy? 
they look at them like they're crazy. Yeah, they absolutely. really do. Yeah. So, guys, just a quick message for you on a Friday night. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, Work that turkey on. But uh, we want to just keep an open mind and uh, check it out. And uh, if you have a desire to be an entrepreneur, it is definitely it's doable. We are, we are living proof. It is yeah. definitely doable. Okay. Um, and so with that, I hope you're having a great Friday evening. If not, let's make it a great one. And remember, excellence always prevails, especially when it's back with action. <laughs>